Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Kurana from Intellect Digest. In this video, I'm going to give you a detailed hands-on review of the Swipe Fablet F3. This is a 5-inch dual SIM, dual core device which comes with Android Jelly Bean software. Let's get started. The Swipe Fablet F3 comes with a large 5-inch capacitive touchscreen display. This screen is 480 by 800 pixels in display resolution. The color reproduction quality on the Swipe F3 is quite clear and crisp as you can see it gives a very nice and vibrant display as well as the touch screen response is quite good the physical buttons just below the screen include three buttons out of which the middle button is the home button which is a physical button and two touch buttons the menu and back button on the right hand side there is no button it's quite clean on top you have a power or wake up key a 3.5 mm standard audio jack on the left hand side you have a volume rocker key on the bottom you have a standard micro USB port for charging as well as data transfer. There is a small mic hole over here. On the rear you have a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash and there is a speaker mesh over the bottom with swipe branding. What you also get right out of the box are these two colored back panels. So you get three color options right out of the box in one device so you can change the back panel to blue or black as per your need. You also get this business case which is smart leather case. This is, comes with a double sided tape. You can remove the tape, put the device here and you can start using it right away. This is a magnetic leather strap. It's quite good in quality, looks quite premium and is quite nice on the interior as well. So it will protect the screen from the scratches etc. Apart from the back panels, you also get these in the ear earphones which are 3.5 mm standard earphones with a built in headset and mic. Let me open piece. the back panel and show you what lies beneath. So under the back panel you have a large 2200 mAh battery which should last for at least 1.5 to 2 days on normal usage which includes the phone, the messaging, the internet browsing etc to name a few. Removing the battery you get a micro SD card slot over here just above the battery and you have two SIM card slots just one above the other. So they are sandwiched on one on the top of other. They are just like this. So one slot is here and other is just on the top of it. The quality of color reproduction is commendable on the screen. This is not a high definition display but still the colors come out to be really well. Also the build quality of the phone is also quite well. I have put the trendy blue color back which comes with it. It's also glossy. You get white and black as well. The quality of chrome bezel all around this white bezel around the screen, the buttons, the tactile feedback, the quality of touch is also quite impressive and interesting. I must say this is one of the most value for money devices in the to price segment. To demonstrate the touch screen quality and the graphics quality, what better then to play a game let me quickly run the temple run 2 which is the latest android game and show you how the touch and the motion sensors work on this device and also the performance so here we are with the temple run 2 as you can see the color reproduction quality is quite good on the 5 inch screen and looks quite bright and vibrant The touch response works pretty fine as you can see it's working quite well on this game. So it is quite good in terms of touch as well as gameplay. Talking of the camera quality the pictures come out to be pretty okay. I would not say it is one of the best camera in the segment but still it does a good job for normal photography. The pictures are not very sharp but they are not very bad either. The color reproduction in the pictures is quite fine. The camera with Jelly Bean features get many interesting features here. You can shoot in panorama mode, you can shoot in the inside continuous shoot mode. You can also take videos with this phone. Uh, let me show you the menu which comes up in the video. So you can set the video quality to be high, fine or medium etc. You can also set the exposure levels, you can set the scene modes, video duration, anti-flicker features. In the camera mode you also get some features which are like the balance, white balance, flash modes, you can select the quality of pictures, anti-flicker, continuous shot etc with the camera. So this camera comes with a lot of features inbuilt right out of the Let box. Let me also demonstrate the video playback quality on the screen since this is a large 5 inch display and it has good speakers. Let me quickly show you how it really works out when you are playing a video. I'll play a video from our YouTube channel. Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Kurana from Intellect Digest.
just in this video I am going to give you a detailed review of the Swipe MTV Volt. This is a smartphone device. This is a cross between a phone and a tablet. This is known as Fablet. This is a new category. So as you can see the quality of display on this phone is quite okay when it comes to video playback also the loudness level from the speakers is also quite good and it's quite loud and clear so you can consume video content on this device quite comfortably without any problems whatsoever talking of the audio and the sound playback quality the supplied earphones which are in the ear work quite well the loudness levels as well as the clarity of sound is quite good using these earphones also one very interesting feature which I have found on this phone is that you can play the FM radio without even the earphones connected so the the quality of signal clarity may not be very high but it will still play anyways so this is something which you don't find on many phones these days it is an added advantage if you want to play FM radio without connecting the 3.5 mm audio jack which are supplied with it. On Swipe Fablet F3 you get a standard stock Android uh, Jelly Bean dialer and the quality of signal as well as the clarity of sound has never been a problem on this device and the 3G access is quite fast as well. Let me quickly show you a demonstration of the speakerphone quality. As you can see the quality of sound during the call is quite clear and crisp. Talking of the specification the Swipe F3 Fablet is part by a dual core processor. This is a 1 GHz dual core processor. It has 512 MB of RAM, 4 GB internal memory out of which 2 GB is available for the user. You can add an additional memory card to expand the capacity further by 32 GB. Let me also quickly show you the benchmark scores when it comes to N22. The device scores somewhere close to 6800 which is not a bad score at all. You can also see the Nina Mark score which is the OpenGL benchmarking which comes out to be 26 frames per second. So if you are a gamer you can run moderate games on it in decent quality there will not be any problems when it comes to gameplay. Talking of the software version it comes with the Android Jelly Bean 4.1 right out of the box it gives you goodness of the Google Now voice recognition system which comes pre-installed on the Android Jelly Bean. What is the weather outside? It's 61 degrees and overcast in New Delhi. So as you can see this is quite good when it comes to voice recognition system. There is a lot of features in Android Jelly Bean which come bundled with this phone and you get a lot of applications which come pre-installed from Swipe. There is also some games which come pre-installed. There is a Swipe Assist application which lets you find out the service centers etc. in case you need any support. There is also MX player which is a multimedia player. So you get some educational content, you get some games content, you get productivity tools like Kingsoft Office pre-installed. So this phablet comes with some features which you can start using right out of the box. Summarizing the Swipe F3 phablet, it comes at a very good price point with a lot of accessories. It comes with decent specification. You can do gaming productivity. So there are a lot of applications that you can run on it. So this device is one of the most value for money devices in the price segment. This is all we have for you on a detailed review of the Swipe Fablet F3. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to drop us a question or comment in the comment section below. Please like our video if you like our review. Press the subscribe button to get more such video updates from us. This is Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.